Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Good morning guys, how are we? I hope we're all doing well. This morning, this morning I, uh, this is an episode of Making Gains, uh, but the topic I'm going to talk about today is a topic that I see coming up all the time. It seems every single YouTuber that's got a few subscribers has made a video about this. And it is about YouTube and the YouTube algorithms as far as content creators monetizing their videos, Google putting ads on your video, people watching your video, possibly clicking on those ads, and you making revenue from that. What's happened recently, apparently, look, I, I, I wouldn't know to be honest, because yes, a few of my videos are monetized, but I don't make fuck all. And at the end of this video, I will tell you exactly how much money I make from YouTube. But before that, I just want to discuss this topic. So these days, guys, these days, it seems you don't need a real job. It seems you get a few hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube and you can live off the income. You really can. I don't know how much they're making per month. They might make they might make 500 a week, 1,000 a week, but that's enough to live off, right? So these YouTubers who are solely making their money from YouTube, you know, going about their day, they don't have a real job. And you know, I'll get into that soon because <laughs> there's some guys who I see complaining about not making money anymore on YouTube. Get a job. So look, I don't know how much these guys make. If they make, if they're making a million dollars a year and they lose 50% of their revenue, well, yes, I'd be fucking pissed off because these guys have no power. I mean, Google and YouTube have all the power in this one, and they can change the algorithms however they want. They can bring different advertisers on. They can, they can, they can, they could just cut, cut the revenue just like that. And it seems that's what they've done. So all these YouTubers are going up in arms about it. And obviously, you know, they might have mortgages, they might have bills that they need to pay, and their monthly income has been slashed. I don't know exactly why or how that's happened. I've heard, I've heard that certain advertisers are pulling out of YouTube because of the content, um, because you know some of the content is un is it's unregulated sort of thing, I guess. Uh, although YouTube is getting you know really really st strict. On people's content you know if you've got certain keywords uh, if you say certain things you know they've got robots running through all videos at all times searching for these certain keywords you know different things that they don't want you to talk about and if you put up too many of those types of videos they can even just flag your channel boom just like that all they need to do is click one button and you could never and you can never monetize any videos ever again on your channel so that is why you really don't want to fuck off YouTube because they can they can really stuff things up if you've got a big channel. Now, personally, obviously my channel is not big, um, and you can really only start earning a lot of money from your videos once you start getting you know fifty, a hundred thousand views per video. So the one time I did have, well, probably the two times I've had decent videos go over the hundred thousand uh, view mark, I had one video. Just let's just talk about. I don't know how much these big YouTubers make per video. I think once you get your subscribers up, once you get your viewership up, you can then negotiate with different management companies and have your channel with a certain company that's going to get better rates from these advertisers. At the moment, I haven't, like, I think Sony, Sony Management Group or something is one of them. I've, I've seen a few of them. At the moment, obviously, I haven't done that. I'm just with Google AdSense directly. So the income I receive off, off my videos is probably lower than what some others do, but obviously, I just don't have the viewership to make any money. I really don't. So uh, basically, the, the way I've seen it is once your video goes pretty well, it's maybe over about 10,000 views, you will start getting around about a dollar for every thousand views. So I had a video that was at 180,000 views and that video had earned me. I monetized it right from the start. Most of my videos that I put up I don't monetize because I don't want to fuck you guys off with ads. I really don't. You know, I'm a small channel. Do I really have the right to fucking put ads on my videos? No. So, you know, I started off, I, I put, I, I did monetize this video. It got up to 180,000 views and I received just over $200 revenue from that video. So, you know, that's pretty good. Let's say I had 10 videos that went over 200,000 views. I'd get 
two grand. So the way I see it at the moment for me, if I've got a successful video that's having thousands of views, I will get, if I monetize it, I will get around about a dollar to a dollar fifty per thousand views. So that's, that's how I've done it. If you want to know how much I've actually made in total in my entire YouTube career, let's do this. I don't know if people, I don't know if many people have actually told anyone this really like to the dollar, but I will tell you guys, I don't give a shit. I've had, what, what Google does is you'll put in your, you'll put in your, um, your bank details, blah, 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 payment details. At the end of each month, all the YouTube money that's accumulated on your channel over that month, at the end of the month, Google cleans out your account and puts it into your bank account. So I've had one payment from Google, and that is because for the first three years of owning my uh, YouTube channel, I hadn't actually put my bank details in there. So I had, to, you know, so for three years I was just getting this revenue accumulating, but it pretty much it was only from that one successful video. So at the end of three years, I had two hundred and fifty dollars worth of ad revenue in my Google AdSense account, and I got it put into my bank account. <laughs> and three years of three years of accumulating money, and it goes just like that on like one grocery bill or one fucking power bill. It's like. Can these guys really make, make a living from YouTube? Probably not, and certainly not now. Not now that YouTube's changed the algorithm. So what I want to say to you guys out there that are complaining, that are complaining about losing your money from YouTube, people are, people are fucking asking for donations for their YouTube channel to keep it open. It's like, really? You're going to ask for donations? I mean, if you've, if you've got a huge subscriber base, and, and, you know, they would rather you sit at home and make videos than go out and, and get a real job. Then, hey, you've got, a, you've got a really loyal, good subscriber base and they probably will give you donations. But you don't want to be fucking living off donations, man, because they can, they can stop any time. So basically, what I want to say is, like, why not just, you know, stand back for a little bit from your YouTube channel. I'm talking to the guys who, you know, really are struggling, okay? You gotta get a job, man. You gotta get a fucking job. There's so many jobs out there. When I was growing up, a thousand dollars a week seemed like impossible. There's a lot of jobs out there now that you can earn a thousand dollars a week. Imagine having this YouTube channel just on the side at home, like I do. I go to work for 12 hours a day, I come home, I open my computer, and then I start buzzing around on YouTube. That's the way it should be, man. I honestly, I, you know, <laughs> talk to me when I've got 500,000 subscribers and maybe I'll be doing this full time. But until then, you've got to have a job, man. You've got to have you've got to have another life. You've got to have you've got to have another income stream. You can't rely on this shit. It doesn't pay enough. It's pretty fickle. YouTube can flag your channel just like that, like I said before, and you'll never monetize a video ever again. So you've got to be careful. I'm really enjoying how things are going on YouTube for me at the moment. Um, I'm not stressing about things. You know, if you like the content, you like the content. If you don't, you don't. I am me. I've been me from the start. That's that's what my channel is based on. And I'm proud of it. And so, you know, yes. Look, let's be honest. Yes, um, I would love to quit my job and just make videos for a living. But that's a lot of pressure, man. That's a lot of pressure. Like, I can imagine, I can imagine how YouTubers feel when they put up a video that they've spent so long on. They're expecting all this money from the, from the views and that, and then they get a really bad response on the video. Like people might not like it, they might get a few dislikes. It's like that that could really really start psychologically affecting you. And I, I don't think that's what I want to do. I need to have a balance. You need to have a balance. You need your YouTube life, your social media, your internet, and you need your real life. You you honestly do, or else you're gonna go crazy, and you, you're just gonna get too immersed in the whole thing. Like honestly. Recently, I've been thinking, holy shit, I spend way too much time on YouTube. And I'm at work 12 hours a day, and I still think that. So it's like, these guys who do YouTube full time, I mean, they must be just staring at a screen the whole day. But um, anyways, that's, that's just a bit of a rant for me. I feel sorry for the guys who are struggling out there, I really do. But like I said, man, what are you going to do? Start writing your resume, baby. <laughs> it's time to get a job. That's all I gotta say. So it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. Um, you know, this is the real world, motherfuckers. YouTube's fun. YouTube's a hobby, but uh, it's certainly not. 
it's uh, yeah, it's not going to make you a million million dollars a year, that's for sure. But um, anyways, guys, I'm not going to ask for any donations today, so don't worry. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. When I, when I pull up on a hater, watch a hater fall back. I'm too good with these hands, watch a hater fall flat. If I die, all I know, I'm a motherfucking legend. It's so great for my city. I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God.